same time, so something a bit new for you. Yeah. yeah. So we're looking now at the start line for the men's K2 200 metres A final. This is promising to be the absolute fastest race out in the water this morning. And that is Serbia's Nabojsa Gruic and Marko Novakovic who will start in lane seven. They won gold at the European Games in Baku last year. Another pair to watch, Great Britain's Liam Heath and Johnny Schofield. Olympic bronze medalists back in London 2012 with their trademark caps on backwards alongside them in lane five fastest qualifiers with a time of 31.777 Ronnie Rauer and Tom Liebscher from Germany in lane nine from Slovakia that's Miroslav Zatko and Lubomir Benyo from Russia in lane four, Yuri Postrigai and Alexandra Diachenko. Italy's Michele Bertolini and Riccardo Sacchini out there in lane eight. Now in lane three, Sebastian Juve and Maxime Beaumont of France. Lucky to be here, I'd say, kind of. They were disqualified from the heats for two false starts, but were reinstated into the semi finals because they hadn't actually been told that they were at fault for the first false start. And they went on to absolutely smash their semi-final. So very much wants to watch that French pair in lane three. Alongside them in lane two from Brazil, Edson, Isaias, Freitas da Silva, and Gilvan Bittencourt Ribeiro. One gold at the Pan American Championships last week. And out in lane one from Canada, Etienne Morneau and Ryan Cochran. They were silver medalists at the Pan American Championships last week behind the Brazilians. So out in lanes one and two, there'll be a little American, North American against South American race off. They're in a little private battle out in lanes one and two. So the white flag of the referee is up and the boats are in position. And this is promising to be a fast and furious race. Not much more than 30 seconds. held in the start buckets for a long time. And they're underway cleanly by the looks of things. Really strong out there from Russia in lane four. Also going well is that Great Britain boat in lane five in the black with the yellow tips. And GB, they, won, they came seventh in Dewisburg last week. They will definitely be looking for an upgrade on that. Currently down in fourth now as France's Juve and Beaumont are making a point that this is the rightful place for them to be in. It's France against Germany now for the gold medal and it looks like it will be Germany who take first ahead of France in second and the bronze medal that could have gone to Russia, Great Britain, probably quite a few boats and that's, that's just so impressive isn't it? What, what are your thoughts about watching men's K2 racing catching? It looks so powerful. I am amazed every time because 200 meters are so fast and the race is so short and every mistake costs you seconds and you have to do a perfect race to win gold here because the, the field is going stronger and stronger and yeah, you can't allow you any mistake. Yeah, any single centimetre of wrong placement of your blade can make a massive difference. Whereas over a thousand metres, you've got a little bit of room for manoeuvre. But a fantastic win for Ronald Rauer and Tom Liebscher of Germany to take the gold in the A final of the men's K2 200 metres. Claiming it there. Fist pumps between Rauer and Liebscher. Fifth in Duisburg last weekend. What an upgrade. They were the European champions last year and in 2014 as well. And Ronnie Rauer, a four-time world champion in K1 200 metres. Uh, really interesting to see where that bronze medal went. Hopefully we'll get some information about that very, very shortly. 
It's going to be a difficult one. And it was uh, Heath and Schofield that look to have taken the bronze medal for Great Britain by just two hundredths of a second. One hundredth of a second separating 